Over the last 50,000 years, our species interbred with quite a few other human species, and one of those, the Neanderthals, they left us with some admixture that's now responsible for quite a few cases of Viking disease. This starts with a small growth, a nodule under the skin of your palm. As that happens, the fingers get pulled forward until eventually they get locked in place. Dupuytren's disease got the nickname Viking disease because in some regions in Northern Europe, up to 30% of people over the age of 60 have this. And this is where the Neanderthals come into play because they were a species of human that really thrived in Europe and they weren't in Africa. Now, if you compare people that are living in Africa, whose ancestors were in Africa, this disease is much more rare. Knowing where these different ancient hominins were living, a team wanted to look into whether that could be why Viking disease is so much more common there than in Africa. To answer the question, the team looked at data from three biobanks. You can see how many samples they had there. And then when they looked at those genomes, they tried to identify things that led to a much higher chance of this disease. And they were able to identify 61 different genetic pieces of information. And of those 61, two of the three most serious were little genetic variants that came to our gene pool from Neanderthals when we interbred and hybridized with them. While they were able to look at different populations of Neanderthals and see which ones added more of this genetic material to our gene pool, they also looked at the Denisovan genome and they couldn't find anything that the Denisovans added to our gene pool that affected this disease. So Viking disease, just another way that these ancient hominins that lived alongside us and we hybridized with still affect us today. This one, it's a negative trait. There's also positive traits though. Denisovans, for example, there are populations of people that live up high in Tibet that have genetic sequences from Denisovans that help them breathe at that altitude. The Denisovans, they'd lived up there for hundreds of thousands of years. So they had time to like fine tune that adaptation through evolution. And then our species came along like the kid who gets the group but doesn't do anything but gets the good grade. We interbred with them. That gene came a part of our gene pool and now it still exists. It's helping us out.